So there are lots of ways to measure time. Yeah. Take your mark. Up. But what if you need to stop it? Colorado Time Systems in Loveland, Colorado makes hyper-accurate timing systems in touch pads used for competitive swimming events. The system typically measures a swimmer's time within one one-hundredth of a second. That's the interval by which Michael Phelps barely took gold in the 100-meter butterfly at the 2008 Beijing Olympics. The touch pad only responds to the stroke of the swimmer's fingertips. Waves in the pool don't affect its measurements. Results this infallible have only been recorded since the mid-1980s. The early days, uh, swimming was judged by humans. They were eyeballing the finish and declaring winners. And you would have a number of judges each picking place. Then timing came along and manual stopwatches were used. But humans make mistakes. The timing system is now a fully automatic timing system. The start is picked up electronically when the referee hits the horn and the strobe light goes off. As the swimmer touches the wall, we will record the exact time that that touch came in. The pad is essentially a large switch. When a swimmer touches it, the switch closes and sends a signal to the timing system. This collects the signals from the touch pads. It passes the data to our specialized timing board. On the timing board is the single crystal that is the very accurate part of the timing. It's accurate to five parts per million. And underneath the timing board is a standard single board computer. The timing system is wired directly into the scoreboard. Currently, all of the rule books in the world specify that we should time to one hundredth of a second accuracy. But we have the ability to time to a thousandth of a second. This is used sometimes, particularly when people want to make sure ties are broken. A timer can help calculate a swimmer's speed. 